Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Welcome to a fresh new week. I am back out in the elements, baby. <sighs> yes, feeling a lot better. And I'm going to get back to my MLB free agent predictions. So we did the round table with the gang a week ago, right? But we only went over about 15 guys. There's a hell of a lot of other players here, and I don't want to leave them guys out. So I'm going to go through five deep at every position, okay? And pitching is going to be at least 10 deep, starting and relievers. I don't want to leave anybody out because there's a lot of free agents this offseason. And I want to make sure that we cover everybody, as many people as possible. Okay, before I do that, I got a couple of pieces of news. Uh, it sounds like Anthony Rizzo is going to reject the Yankees' qualifying offer, which is lined it's tomorrow, the 15th. No surprise there. But if he happens to walk, if Judge happens to walk, it puts them in a position to get, to gain an international spending money. So if they don't sign anybody with a QO themselves, then they gain those things. If they happen to sign somebody with a QO, it'll just get offset. So they won't be necessarily losing international money and prospects. So Yankees could be in a good spot. Obviously, good spot meaning you have to effectively replace, replace either Judge or Rizzo or both, which is not an easy task. So we'll see what happens there. Obviously, so you don't, so you don't miss whatever they do. Okay, because I'll put out that news immediately, as well as other teams too. So, and the other piece of news is the Tampa Bay Rays right now are in less preliminary trade talks with two teams, the Cubs and the Mets, for Tyler Glasnow, a trade. And what I'm hearing is, um, you know, ex expect they don't be so, or don't be surprised if you hear a trade announced in the next 24 to 48 hours that they've moved Tyler Glasnow. Glasnow, I mean, makes sense to the Cubs. Because they need pitching, they need a lot of guys, and it makes sense to the potential Mets too as a, as a way of offsetting the potential departure of Jacob Degrom, who's made it known he's interested in playing in Texas. So that's going to be an interesting scenario myself. You know, just to just to see what's going on. I can't wait to you know announce whatever happens. So just wanted to get that out to you. But let's let's get to the list, baby. Let's get to it, okay? Let's start with let's what, what do we got coming up here first? Catchers, okay? And and these are I'm also adding guys that we've already gone through with the MLB freighting prediction. So Wilson Contreras, we I have it predicted to the St. Louis Cardinals. Mike Zunino, Colorado Rockies. Christian Vasquez, I haven't paid to go back to Boston. Gary Sanchez, I haven't gone to the Washington Nationals. Yeah, he's a free agent, okay? One of the Yankee former Yankee baby boomers. Baby Bombers, whatever. And Tucker Barnhart. I have him going to the Tampa Bay to replace Mr. Zunino. So, interesting collaboration. Any other guys? I mean, Sean Murphy, he's a, he's a trade candidate. He's not a free agent. He's been talked about quite a bit. So, I, I'm guessing he'll be moved. Now, first baseman, Josh to Chicago White Sox. I have him replacing Jose Abreu, who, as you can see here, is going, I have him going to the San Diego Padres to replace Josh Bell. <laughs> Anthony Rizzo, I've got him coming back to the Yankees, but on a high dollar short term deal. I still, I think they're probably going to be pretty interested in this Japanese guy. Um, more, I, mean, I think his name is. I talked about him the other day, and uh, he's like a lefty slugging monster power hitter in Japan. Who's going to? He wants to come back, or he's demanding to come to, uh, be posted, put, and be in the major leagues next year. So keep an eye out for that. But would I be surprised if Rizzo walks? No, but I have him pegged to come back to the Yankees right now. Eric Cosmer, I have him going to the upstart Baltimore Orioles and adding some you know, defensive wizardry over first base there because he's still pretty solid there. And power hitting first baseman, uh, Miguel Sano. I have him leaving Minnesota and going to the Miami Marlins, who need a couple of pieces of, of offense regardless. So that's second base. What's up next? Oh, excuse me, that was first base. Second base, Adam Frazier, multiple position guy, but he's mostly second base. I'm going to the St. Louis Cardinals. Chris Owings, who the Yankees had picked up, had a minor league deal, but never, never hit the major leagues. I'm going to Oakland. They can always use players on the cheap. Jose Peraza, also a former Yankee. I'm going to Seattle Mariners, giving them some versatility, replacing Adam Frazier. Josh Harrell, Josh Harrison, versatile second baseman. I'm going, going to the Mets, adding some depth. And Rugnet Odor, former Yankee, uh, uh, not sexy player, but clutch hitter. And also Yankee uh, Killer when he was not playing with the Yankees. 
recently especially. I also haven't gone to the Miami Marlins. Miami Marlins are adding a couple of pieces. I don't know if they'll make any big, big, big moves in free agency, but I'm breaking several incrementals and potentially a big trade or two. I think there's going to be some more trades, big trades this offseason. So now let's move over to third base. Justin Turner, who had his option declined by the Dodgers. I'm going to Oakland A's. Joey Wendell, who I talked about in multiple trade scenarios with the Yankees, is no longer a trade prospect. He's uh, a target. He's a free agent now. So I'm coming to the Yankees as a I, – I have them moving Glaber Torres and him adding some versatility for multiple positions. And, again, um, this meaning I don't have them pegged to sign one of the big shortstops, Gray and the rest of them, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so he can play third, he can play second. He gives him versatility, and he does it on the cheap, which I think, unfortunately, I fear the Yankees are going to be relatively cheap, but I hope I'm wrong, though. Brandon Drury, who's been clutch hitting the soft season, plays multiple positions. I haven't gone to the Houston Astros and adding to that championship team. Michael Franco, Los Angeles Dodgers, to replace Justin Turner. And Matt Duffy, to, again, the, the Baltimore Orioles. I think they're going to be adding multiple pieces as well, just like the Marlins. The, uh, the Orioles are going to be adding some incremental pieces too. And lastly, the shortstop position. Got Big Dansby Swanson. We know that. I'm going to the Los Angeles Angels. Xander Bogarts. Got him going to the Philadelphia Phillies. Carlos Correa. Had him pegged to the San Francisco Giants. Trey Turner. Had him staying in the Dodgers. And defensive whiz Jose Iglesias. I'm mean, going over to St. Louis Cardinals. Now, would I, we, would I be surprised if one of these big guys goes to the Cardinals? No, I would not. But... That's where I have the list right now. Okay. Nothing's big has happened yet. All right. Now, left fielders, we already know Andrew Benatendi, who I want back to the Yankees. I'm pegged to go to the San Diego Padres. I think they're going to be aggressive as well. Jock Peterson, Los Angeles Angels. I think he'll actually reject his qualifying offer and sign with the Angels, who need more players. Okay. Pitching and hitting. Jorge Soler, former power guy from the Royals and the Braves. I'm going to the Milwaukee Brewers and adding to that offensive machine over there. Jerks and Profar, I'm going back to <clears throat> uh, Kansas City, okay, or just to Kansas City, adding to that, uh, you know, kind of upstart team as well, a rebounding team. I, they, yeah, my, they might trade Salvador Perez because they have so many catchers now. So, um, and Robbie Grossman, I'm going to the Cincinnati Reds. That'll be one of their non-flashy, non-sexy moves on a, on a definite rebuilding team, okay? Next up. Center fielders, Brandon Nimmo. I'm going back to the Mets. Okay. JBJ, Jackie Bradley Jr. going to the Cleveland Guardians, adding some versatility to that very, very strong team. Kevin Kiermeyer, whose option was just uh, declined and was saying goodbye to the Tampa Bay Rays. I'm adding being the Seattle Mariners offensive attack. And he's a good, versatile player. Kevin Pilar, who spent some time with the Mets this year. I'm going up to the Colorado Rockies to add to that, you know. Attack over there. <clears throat> and Billy Hamilton still is one of the faster guys out there. Just a decent spray hitter and, and, and uh, still a pretty good defensive center fielder. Going to the Minnesota Twins. Adding to that diversity over there. Now, right fielder's last outfield position. Aaron Judge, we know I had him pegged to Seattle already. Mitch Hanniger, I have him moving over from Seattle to Chicago White Sox. Michael Conforto. I think he's also going to be going over to the Houston Astros. Him and Bureau over in Houston. Will Myers, I'm taking his, his versatile talents over to Baltimore Orioles. Again, adding another piece. And Tyler Naquin, Naquin over to the Texas Rangers. Okay. They need, they're, they're not going to be, uh, I think they might make a trade, a couple of big moves as well. So Tyler, I mean, uh, Texas Rangers are just getting started. They really are. Now, let's finish off with pitching. Okay. Belief. Edwin Diaz, we know he signed with the Mets already. And Rafael Montero, he re-signed with the Houston Astros. We know that. Okay. Canley Jansen, I have him staying in Atlanta. I think he's a good fit to come over to the American League. Um, I had originally thought Boston, but I don't know if that'll be a good fit. Craig Kimbrell, I'm going to Milwaukee Brewers. Putting him in front of, uh, what do you call it, Devin Williams. Okay. Tyler Taylor Rogers, San Diego Padres. Putting him... In front of Josh Hader. Andrew Chafin, also going to the Minnesota Twins, adding another effective piece on a cheap. Michael Fulmer is the guy I have going over to Boston. I think he can handle the Boston environment probably a little bit better than somebody like Kimbrell. Um, 
Chad Green. I have him going up to the Padres as well. But would I be surprised if he came back to the Yankees? No, he was pretty surprised. Coming off Tommy John, though. But I do have Yankees reuniting with Tommy Conley. It's pretty strong ball, but a really, 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 really good changeup. It's still a very effective out pitch. And the role Chapman, I have him going over to the Miami Marlins. Okay. And lastly, starting pitch. All right. Thor. Noah Syndergaard, Chicago White Sox. Chris Bassett going over to the Toronto Blue Jays. I have a feeling they're going to add a starter and probably a reliever. And he comes with a qualifying offer, so they'll have to give up some prospect capital there. But they're not on the highest penalty. So that's where it makes it more palatable for a team like the Blue Jays. Sean Manea, San Francisco Giants, staying out west. Nathan Avaldi, <clears throat> back to Boston, who they, they've, already, they've already offered him a multiple-year deal. Martin Perez, also attached to a QO, hitting over to the Padres. Clayton Kershaw, back to the Dodgers. Jamo, Tyon. Going to that Los Angeles Angels. No QO attached, and they need pitching. I could see him being a good fit there. Taiwan Walker, back to the Mets. Okay? Especially since Jacob deGrom is heading over to Texas Rangers, in my opinion. Justin Verlander, staying in Houston. Doesn't make any sense to leave. And lastly, Carlos Rodon, coming to the Bronx, to the New York Yankees. Now, I'm only allowed to put 10 slides here according to the whatever they're setting. So I have one more. Designated hitter. I didn't forget them. J.D., I have him here, so I'm reading it out to you. J.D. Martinez, New York Mets. Matt Carpenter is going to retire. Michael Brantley, St. Louis Cardinals. Trey Mancini, also headed to the Los Angeles Angels. And Nelson Cruz will retire. That's the rest of my... MLB for Agent Predictions, that's part two. Let me know what you guys and gals think. Give me some feedback in the comments, and let's get into this. And obviously, anything else that comes out, you're going to be getting it here. Feels good breathing this air again and being with you guys and gals. Have a great Talk to you later.